Okay, welcome to uh, Fundamentals of PLC Programming. Bill, Luke, Malcolm, uh, this is an IDC Technologies Initiative. Um, and we are just going to go through a few issues with PLC programming. Bear in mind that there's a 30-page white paper which backs this up, which goes into far more depth. Okay, so fundamentals of PLC programming, and um, as I say, we'll give you all the details of getting the white paper at the end. We're going to do a quick introduction to PLC programming, uh, types of programming languages, and a few uh, basic programming instructions. Uh, here's a PLC programming setup. The idea is that you've got a PC which you do all your programming on and you interface through to the good old PLC over here with racks, digital analog input output. Um, various programming languages available. Um, they all fall under the what they call the 61131-3 standard. Uh, the most popular one is still ladder diagram because it's familiar to electricians but you've got a few other uh, languages uh, available as well. I'm going to focus on ladder diagram. Let's ask uh, Malcolm or Bill. Uh, Malcolm or Bill, have you worked with uh, ladder logic or ladder diagrams in your career? Over to you guys. Uh, hi, Steve. Malcolm here. Uh, I work with a team of guys who are pretty experienced, but uh, personally, no. I guess that's why I'm interested in your presentation here. Great, thanks Malcolm, that's uh, good to hear. Okay, let's, um, I'll quickly go through some of the issues here with ladder diagramming, and we'll take it from there. Um, here's a typical ladder diagram. Um, it's a little bit thin, but let's go through some of the issues here. What you'll see is, what we're trying to show you is that you've got the hardwired logic over here, and here on the bottom is the actual ladder diagram. So you'll see two things there. One is a start push button, and a stop push button. So the idea is that um, the start push button is normally open, which means no power flow in normal case, and the stop push button is normally closed. So there's power flow all the time when there's power at both ends. So let's have a look at how this all works in the real world. The idea is that for the first scan, when you push the start push button, that one there, you'll see the power goes straight through to the contact over here. It energizes, and then on the second scan coming through, what's happened is that the guy's released his push button, so there's no power flow through there anymore, but there's now power flow through the what they call the sealed contact, and of course this coil here is now permanently on, which means it's now energized, and away it goes until someone pushes the stop push button, which then breaks the power flow, and of course then drops out the contact the coil. So that's obviously what we will be um, focusing on when you look at typical contacts. Here's a few examples of a few instructions. This is called a normally open contact, uh, examine if closed. Um, another one is examine if open, referred to as normally closed contact. Um, these are all instructions used. Another one is a timer. May I ask you, Malcolm um, and Bill, have you worked with uh, timers and counters? Over to you guys. Yeah, again, uh, just speaking for myself there, Steve, uh, I'm uh, fairly green when it comes to the timers in relation to PLC, that's for sure. Thanks, Malcolm. Okay, we've got timer on here, basically um, a pretty fundamental building block. The idea is that when you've got power coming in through there, uh, what happens is after a certain 10 seconds, this done bit here, goes on. So the idea is that you then pass power flow through. So you've got a sort of step function looking like that. So you start the action there, and 10 seconds later, you start the output on the timer. Similarly with a counter, you've got a certain number of counts, in this case 10 counts. After 10 counts, you'll find that the output will go on. That will indicate on counter. These uh, materials are available to you uh, by just emailing books at idc-online.com. And uh, if you give us a drop an email, you'll, we'll send you the information. Um, let me um, ask uh, Bill or Malcolm or Luke if you have any questions. Over to you guys. Again, uh, Steve, that was good. I guess that's uh, introduced the, the basic concepts for me again, but uh, 
I'm certainly going to download that uh, book chapter there that you talk about. I think I need to do some more reading. Thanks very much, Malcolm, Luke, and Bill. Over to you um, guys, and drop me an email if you have any questions in future. Thanks very much for uh, attending this short little presentation. Bye.